All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we're talking about a common question that I get with fig trees regarding their form. And people always wanna know, should I have a bush or should I have a tree? Are they gonna naturally turn into a bush? Are they naturally trees? How do I train them exactly? And is one form better than the other? Well, I'll tell you this, regardless of what form you desire, a fig tree will always end up having naturally a rounded crown. And that's essentially a tree or a bush that has multiple points at the top of the tree that form a rounded crown. Some trees like Christmas trees, as an example, love to grow as a central leader and they send up one shoot and then there's all the branches that come off from that central leader. Other trees like pears like to be grown as a pyramid and so they ha naturally have that triangle shape other trees like to be grown and prefer to be grown, I should say, as an open center because they're typically very disease ridden. And so things like stone fruits, especially when grown in the mid-Atlantic, pears, well not pears, apples, we want to try to have them more of an open center so that that sunlight can come through, we have better fruit quality, and we also have less disease. The fig is going to naturally kind of want to fill into that, that center and we don't necessarily have to have an open center. They don't really struggle with disease. So inevitably they form this canopy that's quite full and quite dense and is what I would say and what many growers say is a rounded crown. Now, either way you end up achieving that doesn't really matter in my opinion. I've been growing figs for a long time. Um, I've studied them extensively and I just don't have a preference for having a tree versus a bush. They naturally are gonna try to bush and send up a lot of growth points, especially when younger, from the lower points of the tree to form a bush that has multiple trunks from the base. A tree by definition, the tree form, has one single trunk and then forms the scaffolds and then forms the laterals from those scaffolds, AKA where the fruit forms typically on most fruit trees. So regardless of each one, it doesn't matter because you're gonna end up forming this rounded crown anyway. I find that the bush form is better in a sense for people in colder zones, zone sevens, sixes, and fives, when you're growing them in the ground because you have multiple trunks at the base, like you see here on most of my in-ground fig trees. And so that if one tree takes damage from the cold, or I should say one trunk takes damage from the cold, other trunks are there and the tree is still going to be rather productive. But if you have a single stem trunk and you get a really bad winter time, um, you're going to end up killing your tree all the way down to the base and it's going to have to re-sprout. And it's just more likely, I find, if you have this bush form to maybe have something that survives that's going to produce fruit year after year. And inevitably, they're going to revert back to that bush form anyway in a colder zone. Again, I don't find that there's any benefit one way or the other other than that, because we're just trying to maximize the sunlight our trees receive. Whether it's a bush, whether it's an espalier, by the way, you can grow figs as an espalier very easily as fans, as low cordons, as double cordons, um, growing them against the fence, against the wall. It doesn't matter. They're very easy to train. Um, and regardless of whatever, whatever form you choose, you're just trying to maximize that sunlight to have good fruit set and good fruit quality, and that's it. So um, I think that kind of answers most people's questions there regarding the form. Yes, they will naturally turn into a bush, but all of them will inevitably end up reaching that rounded crown. If you want a smaller tree, go with a bush, because the scaffolds on a bush start from the base but if we have a main trunk that's bare and then forms the scaffolds, well, we have the scaffold formation at a higher height. And so if we wanna inevitably end up making sure we can pick our fruits reliably every year without a ladder, actually bushes are easier to maintain in that sense. Um, they're easier to keep small and they're just naturally smaller because of that scaffold formation at a lower height. So thanks guys for watching this one. If you want more fig information, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, check out the blog, figboss.com. See you for the next one, guys. Take care.